So on Christmas Day, I unwrapped a very unique present. Now, I knew I was going to be opening up a 3D printer. I paid for about half of it and wrapped the box myself because I didn't want my parents or anything tipping it over and possibly ruining something. So, yes, I wrapped my own present. But I have been using this printer for about the last week, and it's a really solid printer and very beginner friendly. So welcome everybody to Micah's Tech Hub. Make sure you like the video and hit subscribe. And uh, let's just see if we can keep this thing going. So the Bamboo A1, uh, I've kind of heard of Bamboo talked as the Apple of 3D printers. You don't really mess with the printer a lot yourself. Uh, something that, you know, uh, different from like an Ender 3 where people are constantly modding their printer. Uh, it's more of just a, you just set it up and print and you're pretty much all good to go. You don't really have to tweak anything with the printer. Obviously, there's a few settings you can mess with here and there. You can mess with stuff in the slicer, but it's pretty much just a very simplified 3D printer. For beginners, I've heard it's fairly good. And as a complete beginner, I have no 3D modeling nor 3D printing experience. Well, it's been pretty decent. I have mostly used the Bamboo Handy mobile app. And uh, a lot of the, the models on there are from Maker World. In fact, I believe Bamboo owns Maker World. So it's pretty much an integration with Maker World. And you can even use uh, Maker World, import those directly into Bamboo Studio and print on a Bamboo printer. And I would say results are pretty impressive. Uh, the first model that pretty much everyone prints is this 3d boat often called the benchy um, it's pretty much just a benchmark for the printer this file was loaded on the printer it, it even has an sd card that comes with it along with a, a bunch of other files too this is the first thing i printed with some of the uh, starter filament that they gave you you also get a uh, little blade and uh there are uh, files to print a little housing for it. So I printed one of these two with blue filament. You see the bamboo came with this little blade right here to scrape stuff off of the print bed. Be very careful because I believe I have made a little gash in the underside of my print bed. Luckily it seems you can just flip it over. And then I even have this little firefly keychain. Uh, I really like Honkai Star Rail because I also printed out this facial lithophane and it's very cool. I'm going to show you a more clear image of it, but it's a, it's a very cool little print. I'm going to leave the links to all this down below. Now, uh, messing around with the Bamboo Studio Slicer, I made this little sign that says Micah's Tech Hub and uh my bamboo printer came with a little music box kit now i don't know if they always send these out but it came with mine probably because i ordered it around black friday so uh you can buy this on their website it comes with a code to scan for the model and this is the little piano i printed very neat very nice quality and uh, you pretty much just super glue it together, which is a little challenging until you mount the side pieces on. Then it kind of holds everything together, and then it's just a matter of waiting for it to cure. And the glue I have takes 24 hours to cure, which I I bought it from Hobby Lobby. It's E6000 super glue. It was near the uh, DIY jewelry. Now the tune on this thing, I searched it with Google. Just had Google listen to the song for a few seconds, and it brought up this. I'm going to show it on the screen now. It's pretty much the exact same tune from the music box. So I don't know what this music box is supposed to be playing. If anyone who is musically inclined and musically cultured would know, please tell me. Uh, I, I would assume they don't have this random song because the kit comes with various different pieces of music. Um, you can get like Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You can get Beauty, uh, Beauty and the Beast. You can get uh, 
the Beethoven song, whatever that one is. Uh, but it's, it's a very nice, solid piece of plastic right here. You could probably hurt someone with this, honestly. But it's a it's a music box, not a weapon. So right beside me, you can see that I am printing a few things on this printer right now. What am I printing, you may ask? Well, I found this model for a Firefly figurine, and I am reprinting the arms and the head. So I have noticed a few issues with the printer, especially during a print as long as this this took about nine hours and uh i hope to finally assemble this thing and showcase it in the video once i'm done editing but it's a very neat printer so these are some of the things i've printed and uh very nice quality uh not really any complaints with the 3d printer like i had a few issues with the firefly model which is why i'm uh reprinting a few things i'm also doing a rush job on it so the printer is set at ludicrous speed and uh yeah we're gonna see how it turns out now a situation that happened when putting this thing together is i thought that they forgot to include my purge wiper you see in the box there's a bunch of styrofoam and everything and i ended up finding it but i thought they forgot my purge wiper so i was looking it up online and it actually is a common problem with bamboo lab printers sometimes and so i was worried oh no I happened to be the unlucky guy where they didn't put the purge wiper in the box. But then later in the night, I was looking through uh, the, the cardboard and, and the styrofoam. That's actually where I found this music kit too. It just fell out of one of the styrofoam pieces it was laying in. And then I saw, hey, there's a piece of tape. And under that tape was the purge wiper. So it was, it was very interesting. <laughs> Like, okay, I already contacted support, I already ordered a new purge wiper, and I, I don't need it. So, if, if you pick up one of these printers, really, and I mean thoroughly, check the packaging. You don't want to miss anything, especially a purge wiper, because this thing purges a lot of filament. So, I ended up printing my Firefly figurine while I went out for dinner on New Year's Eve. The A1 has a camera, which allows you to monitor your prints through the app or on your computer and it can record a time lapse while the camera isn't the best it is a neat little feature i think the print came out pretty great apart from a few grievances where it kind of fumbled the ball a little especially towards the end i think it was just a very long print and that might be why but i think the model came out great she looks great she looks fantastic and I might end up spraying some clear coat on this and uh, maybe smoothing it out a little and putting it out on display. So if you're looking to print stuff like this, yeah, the printer can definitely do that. And uh, I think it is pretty high quality. It seems a lot of the things on Maker World are pretty high quality. So far, I have been thoroughly impressed with the printer. As a complete beginner, it's uh, something very easy. Uh, I expect to learn a lot more about 3D printing and I want to get into 3D modeling and just see what I can do with this, uh, especially on this channel. Uh, this whole channel is kind of centered around tech. I have a few ideas of maybe checking out some old hardware I have laying around, some Raspberry Pi stuff. And when I thought of getting a 3D printer, I'm like, you know, that would be pretty neat for content. So I really want to do a lot more content with this thing right here. It's a very neat device, very cool. And if you're a beginner trying to get into 3D printing, I highly recommend the Bamboo A1. It's it's a neat printer, it's a nice printer. You're not gonna be disappointed. I'm certainly not disappointed, I'm excited. And uh, it's wonderful, it is just wonderful. That is all for this video, so leave a like if you liked, comment, and uh, subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you for watching Micah's Tech Hub.